So the last question, uh, question five. Uh, we've got a monoglyceride. Well, we don't know much about monoglycerides. We know about triglycerides. So triglyceride would be like this with the glycerol there, but it'd have three of these fatty acid chains. This one's just got one, that's why it's a mono. But we're okay with that, because we should recognize that. Name the bond. Well, the bond formed by condensation reaction between the glycerol and the fatty acid, girl's name. So that is ester. Most common wrong answers are you know, glycosidic and peptide and what have you. Let's take the type of reaction um, involved in the breakdown. So not building up. So if we broke this down, we'd have to add water and that would be hydrolysis. In the space below, draw and name the products of the breakdown of the monoglyceride. Right, it's a little bit tricky this. A little tip, if you're ever asked to draw something, use the use what you've got there as a, as a template and just make the addition. So use the same style. So I'm going to draw glycerol first of all. So there's our glycerol. So this is what we've got from the diagram. And this is just going to be another OH there. So we've put we've put a H in. So remember water. So we're adding water, and so we've got rid of one H onto there now. And then we're going to put the O and the H onto the other bit. So we've got C O. Then we've got a bond. We've broken off this bit now, so and we've broken off this glycerol, and now we're just going to put the remaining O and H on there. And we're just going to add the rest of that, and that's our fatty acid, so it's our carboxylic group there. B1 and it's giving us two fatty acids stearic acid and oleic acid and don't worry if you've not heard of either of them it gives you chemical formulas of the two so we, we can see that Q group there is the similar that's what makes it an acid and the only difference appears to be so C17H35 C17H33, so one of them's got 33 hydrogens, one of them's got 35 hydrogens. So one has got more hydrogens on the on the chain. So the one that's got less must have some carbon to carbon double bonds in there somewhere. So the oleic acid, so oleic acid with less hydrogen is un saturated so it must have a carbon to carbon double bond or it is not fully saturated with hydrogen so we need to, you know, one mark for telling us getting getting the right the right type of fatty acid, and one mark for further discussion of carbon to carbon double bonds or why it's not fully saturated. Apart from energy storage, so we can't mention energy storage, two functions of triglycerides. So things like thermal insulation. Buoyancy, waterproofing, that sort of thing. Um, protection of organs from shock, production of 
metabolic water. But go for the easy ones, that's my advice, and two marks, and uh, eight in total.